Glutathione is the most powerful and important antioxidant in your body, and it's absolutely critical for your body's natural defense system. What I'm gonna show you in this video is all the ways you can benefit from glutathione, what depletes you, and most importantly, how to properly raise glutathione levels in your body so you can get all the amazing benefits it has to offer, and of course, help fight off all the different health conditions that arise when you become depleted in glutathione. This is gonna be really surprising to you as to how powerful this antioxidant is in improving your health. Let's first look at its important role in antioxidant protection. What it's going to help do is increase the antioxidant protection, reducing free radicals in your body, which is gonna help protect you from inflammation and disease. So this is really important. Now, detoxification is another major role that glutathione plays in your body. You may have known that your liver is important for getting rid of toxins in your body, but what you may not have known is that glutathione plays a major role in actually taking those toxins in the liver and making them water soluble so that your body can get rid of them. So whether it's heavy metals or environmental toxins that you come across in your food, in your drinking water, and every other darn place, what you'll find is that glutathione is very important for getting rid of those toxins in the liver. Now, it also is gonna support immune health. This is by supporting the immune cells itself, the T cells, the natural killer cells, so that you can actually have a well-functioning immune system that protects you from all the different viruses and bacteria that are constantly trying to make you sick. It also is gonna play a huge role in cellular repair and regeneration, supporting the health of your DNA so that your body can truly thrive at a cellular level. One of the things I talked about that's very important right here is we have have to make sure that if we want to have sufficient levels of glutathione is we want to make sure we're stopping all the things that's depleting us of this really valuable antioxidant in our body. One of the first things here is chronic stress that will deplete us of glutathione levels. Next is poor diet. So if you have a diet that's really high in artificial flavorings, artificial colorings, uh, a diet that's high in sugar and processed foods, this is also going to deplete this glutathione in our body because what's happening is you're just ripping through your glutathione stores as your body's trying to protect you from all the very bad food that you're eating. Smoking is kind of an obvious one, right? Smoking just deteriorates the body in every way. It's very hard on your lungs. If you're suffering from an autoimmune condition, I once had a patient who was suffering from a terrible autoimmune condition and one of the things that we found when we did a micronutrient test on him is that his glutathione levels were so down in the dumps. And of course, this was associated too with taking medications, very harsh medications for a lot of years. Sulfur intake, if you're not getting enough cruciferous vegetables, this actually can play a role in the depletion of glutathione. And then of course, environmental toxins. The more toxins that you come in contact with and the more toxic load and burden that your body has to take on, well, of course, this is gonna utilize your glutathione store as well. So we want to make sure we're starting to really mitigate this exposure to these situations in our body so that glutathione isn't constantly being used up. But of course, we're going to focus on raising it up properly in just a minute. But I first want to talk about your skin health because what glutathione has shown to do is actually reduce wrinkles, aging spots, and improve your skin elasticity and overall health as well. So this is really important for skin health. It's important for energy production. How many of you are walking around with your energy completely depleted and fatigue off the charts? And unfortunately, in today's world, you hear, well, go get yourself some caffeine, take an energy drink. That's why these things are so popular today. Well, what you really want to do if you care about having long lasting energy that supports you every single day, all days, you want to focus on the mitochondrial health and the glutathione actually directly supports mitochondrial health. So this is why we focus on using glutathione to not only improve cellular health, but also improve the health of the mitochondria so it can produce lots of energy so that you feel good. Energy production comes from the mitochondria. Mitochondria needs glutathione. So you put all that together and now we have a well-functioning energy system in our body. And then mental health is also a big aspect in which glutathione can help us. It can help not only with inflammation in the brain, which causes so many mental health disorders, so we can decrease inflammation in the brain, which 
health healing of the brain, but also glutathione has been directly shown to support the reduction in your risk of Alzheimer's, uh, neurological diseases like Parkinson's and different mood disorders. So this is where it's really good. And then glutathione, which I didn't put on here, also is really good for respiratory health. If you have COPD or asthma, glutathione has been shown to really help with that. But now let's talk about the good part, and that is how in the world do you raise glutathione in your body? Well, there's two forms of glutathione in your body. One is the reduced form and one is the oxidized form. Now, the reduced form, let's look at it this way. It's the armed guard in your body ready to fight for you. It's ready to do all these things and support you in your overall health journey. The oxidized form is the armed guard who already went to war. They're worn out. They aren't gonna protect you again. They already protected you once. So if we were going to actually improve upon a form of glutathione in the body that's going to protect us, naturally what we'd wanna do is we'd want to increase the reduced form. So how do we increase the reduced form? So one of the best ways to increase the reduced form is by using S-acetylglutathione. What I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below to this. Now the S-acetylglutathione is very important because it's not only increasing the reduced form in the body, which is the armed guard ready to go to war and improve upon all these areas, but also what the S-acetylglutathione is, is a very bioavailable, absorbable form of glutathione that is going to be utilized directly. And what happens with glutathione is that it's very, very difficult to be absorbed. So if we just take regular glutathione, it likely is not going to do a whole lot for you. It's very, very unlikely that it's going to increase the levels of glutathione in your body. So we stick to the S-acetylglutathione, which I said I'll put a link in the description below to, and this is ultimately going to help and give you all these benefits that we mentioned here today. As I said before, glutathione is the most powerful and needed antioxidant in the body. And it's one of the most critical things you can do to improve your body's natural defense system. I'm Dr. Nick Sorowski. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It was a pleasure seeing you in this video. I look forward to seeing you in this video next.